Good afternoon. Thanks a lot, Arpit, for the introduction. Thanks a lot, Linus Foundation, for having me here. I think it's awesome that I can be uh, in front of this uh, very clever audience trying to talk about standards. Now you can say, who hasn't heard about Etsy? Now you can say, I'm not to him, to me. Um, in fact, uh, it's amazing because uh, I could basically sit down all that Arpit has been saying about all that open source has been succeeding uh, throughout the years. You change the word open source, you insert the name of standards, and there you go. My speech is over. I think many of the things Arpit was saying apply very well to what we are doing. Hence, that I think it's, it's very good that we're getting to a very good understanding between Arpit, his organization, our organization, several other colleagues, as Arpit was saying, to keep on pushing it and to keep on uh, bringing value. So um, I'm, I'm trying to give you a little bit of background of, about this open source and standards, this kind of uh, battling that has been going on in the press. And actually, if uh, you see presentations, uh, you will see that we share many things. We love acronyms. So uh, you, you have seen acronyms all over the place. Sometimes we even use the same acronyms, which is not bad. So NFB, MEC, well, that's, that's, we love networking. And in fact, uh, things work with us because we collaborate. Collaboration is key, is fundamental for open source, is fundamental for standards. Standards don't exist without collaboration. And hence, I understand when people looked at us and said, oh, these guys, battling again, it's one or the other, clashing because they love acronyms, they love networking, they try to make business out of it, of, of collaboration. So one of the two are one too many in this village. So, uh, well, in fact, we share so many things that it's not competing, but cooperating that we are after. And let me see some of the thoughts that crossed my mind, why I believe this is the case. And the first thought that's uh, in my mind is, well, guys, it's an impossible battle, because I think we are kind of trying to achieve the same, which is cooperating to try and develop something that's good for the industry, avoiding fragmentation. But we do it in a cooperative manner, in the sense that uh, when you get to the standard, it's something which is kind of bolted down and well uh, fundamental. When it comes to developing to the real projects that come out with a product, then how you do it? probably open source is the way. There are many other ways. And we need those two to be clinging together. And it's, it's important, because not for us. Uh, several times people tell me, uh, well, what do you think? Well, don't ask me. I'm just facilitating what industry, what people who are really doing the job have to do. So to me, there is no single question of, well, do you do that, standards or open source? Uh, guys, that's not the question. That's not really the question. There are several questions inserted there or embedded there. The first one is, do we need standards? We may not need standards. There are specific uh, reasons why we would go to do something standardized. And not always we need to go standardized. And the second one is, how do we want to implement a solution? And by the way, it's not first one, then the other. You could very well start working on something without thinking of standards, and at some point in time think, saying, oh, by the way, the best manner of spreading this around and, and enabling that there are several ways of implementing a solution is by standardizing the basics and allowing the world to develop in different fashions. Why not? So it's not one first, the other second. It's not one or the other. It's deciding what's it that we need. 
Having said which, what do standards provide? Why, why standards? Why would you say, let's go for standards? Sometimes you need to establish a threshold, and you need to fix the threshold. And that's why we, you would say, well, let's go, let's have this standardized, particularly when it comes to uh, responding to uh, uh, queries or, or requirements from regulation. So you need something to refer to that's kind of uh, cast uh, on stone. Then you need standards. Or, of course, you need interoperability. You need different implementations being able to work with one another. And that's what we try to do. When you go to the process in standards, you will see that it goes from okay, requirements, then you go to architecture, protocols, and in the implementation, we try to validate, we try to implement and validate that the different pilots comply with the standard, but then are able to interoperate with other implementations. You don't need to, to see what's inside the box. You just need to see that this box is interchangeable with this other box, regardless of what's inside. You need to verify these interfaces. That's what standards look at. So basically, we are developing all this interoperability. That's what or why you would go and, and point at standards. But uh, we are not blind to the world. We don't say, well, you know, we've been doing that for zillion years, 20 at least, that I can think of. And, you know, uh, or even 30. And uh, we have so many, you know, uh, great success stories to tell. Where we started and then probably all of you carry one or several mobile phones that actually are in your pockets because of standards. Who remembers the 80s and what mobile telephony was in the 80s? Because there was mobile telephony in the 80s. But unaffordable. And today, what we have is amazing. Nobody could ever think of it 15 years ago. All enabled because people got together and made it happen. So why should we bother? Well, we do bother because we see that things develop in many different manners. So we are ready to learn. We are ready to cooperate. Because indeed, uh, implementation cycles, we need to be faster. We understand that the process works. It's extremely important that we have solid governance models because otherwise it's very difficult to bring all the community and bring their ideas and their knowledge and share it with their competitors. And from there, keep on building on the uh, research and innovation. So how, how, we do, how do we do that? And how we enable that all these people can come and work together and get to agreements earlier. Because let's not forget that part of the long cycle or the long phases in our standards project comes from trying to get consensus, which is basic. So once we have that, the point is, well, how do we do better so that our whole process kind of improves? So first of all, go and learn. How are other communities doing? And of course, the first thing we saw is, well, how is the software community, how is the open source community doing? How can we uh, get more out of that? What are the tools they use? What are the methodologies they use? What are the processes they use? How they come to agreements? How they work with each other? That's what we have been doing for now two or three years with our people back in Etsy. So where it, where it is that, that things work, where it is that things cannot be softened, have to still be uh, tight. And of course, that's something we couldn't do just 
by reading books. That's not just something we could do just uh, back in our offices without uh, doing anything, just uh, by uh, taking notes. And that's how uh, all of a sudden, because it, it was not uh, started by us, all of a sudden we had a project in our hands which was a true open source project. We had all the theory on one side, we had all our people having learned how to do things, and all of a sudden, our members, because something I, I want to, to remind everybody that it's not me, it's not our organization that decides what we do, it's Etsy members who decide what they want to do. So they came and said, well, you know, we are working a lot on the standards in NFV, and we have a real need of developing, really, the Mano layer. How, how do we do that? This component we need to develop, we haven't, we haven't found how to do it. Will you help us? So, of course, what do you, what do you answer your members when they ask something? Sure, let's go for it. And that's how uh, this adventure of open source Mano started, with a few members bringing together the knowledge, with us putting and facilitating their work, bringing the tools that we have learned how to use, bringing the governance model that we have adapted a little bit to our own needs, and learning as we uh, run. And this is quite successful from our point of view. It's a very focused project, but has helped us to learn a lot and to keep on bringing new ideas, new opportunities within Etsy that help us being better in the standards process. And at the end of the day, we have been able to start several other initiatives. Of course, IMS is quite old, and we have seen how different communities have brought and taken IMS and developed uh, open source implementations. We started a tool inside of Etsy on this test language description uh, open source project, whereby we are basically developing a tool using open source uh, methodologies. Middlebox Security is a demonstrator that we have done also inside of one of our technical committees. And there are several implementations of the 1M2M. 1M2M is our uh, carbon service layer for Internet of Things. And we have several, again, implementations based on open source of, uh, responding to the needs of, of this architecture. So we keep on trying to work and push and facilitate uh, all this development of specific projects that, at the end of the day, have to see the light in uh, the commercial area. And in the midst of all, something that uh, I'm very happy about and I usually bring forward with great proud is the uh, cooperation agreement or the, uh, the agreement that we have with the Linus Foundation. Because uh, Arpit was talking about it, I will insist, I think it's very, very welcome from the communities. He said it, I will repeat, we don't want the solutions to fragment. We want that all of you can focus and do your business and can interoperate. And that's why we try to bring all people together. We try to bring all people to cooperate. There are concrete activities looking at this, and we will keep on fostering and we keep on uh, promoting cooperation amongst both communities. Because that, that's beneficial for the business, and that's our role, helping uh, this business. So I'm not going to go too long with that, because I think the message is clear that we need to work together. Being together is the only way in which we will help our communities bloom. We will help our communities keep on uh, going forward and doing their business. We, uh, standards, open source, are serving different purposes 
but coming together to the same end. We benefit from each other, how we work, how we establish things. Uh, it's, it's a very nice symbiosis, if I may say. We need to foster that. We need to help our people that, to do that. Cooperation is of the essence, but that's obvious. It's, it's been inside the open source communities. It's been inside the Linux Foundation. It's been inside Etsy since the beginning. No cooperation, no standards. Straightforward. Actually, no cooperation, Etsy wouldn't exist. That's what brings Etsy together. And at the end of the day, and I will, I, I will repeat Arpit's words, we are not here for the sake of being here. We are not here as standards body for the sake of filling in shelves with lots of nice books that doesn't help. Our success is measured in terms of how many standards are being implemented and, and being profitable in the marketplace. How many? How much of that production is bringing back a return? We won't be right on every single thing we uh, start. It doesn't matter as long as we are enough successful in what we bring forward. And again, I think this mutual cooperation, this, this way of bringing things together, will help us being even more success, successful at the most uh, least uncontained cost, which is what I guess our members are looking for. Having said which, let me again thank you all for uh, having a standards guide talking about standards and a little bit of open source. And of course, I look very much forward to this continuous cooperation and happy to answer uh, any questions that might come either now or later on during coffee break. So thank you very much again and see you later, I hope. Thank you.